Today, we will have a brief introduction of Crowat Min 3 to 11.4 KTL XHUS, an ARO HV battery system, US installation. The core parts of the energy storage system are Min TL XHUS single phase on grid inverter and one ARO HV battery system, US. There are nine models in Min TL XHUS series from 3 kW to 11.4 kW. The lithium-ion battery we introduce in this video is ARO HV Battery System US. The chemistry type of this battery system is LFP to guarantee the excellent safety. The capacity of the battery range is from 6.6 .6 to 9.9 kWh and expandable to 19.8 kWh. The IRO HV Battery System US supports 2 to 6 pieces of ML33 RTA battery modules in parallel connection, and the capacity will be from 6.6 .6 to 19.8 kWh. Before the installation, we need to prepare the required tools. The operating environment is very crucial, which might affect the lifespan of Min TL XHUS. Please do not expose the Min TL XHUS to the environment of direct sunbows, rain, and snow. In order to ensure the machine running normally and easy to operate, please provide adequate space for Min TL XHUS. First of all, Unpacking the Min TL XHUS package and please check if there is any cosmetic damage or missing parts. If it occurs any of the above condition, please contact the supplier. There are the parts inside the Min TL XHUS package including There are some connection ports including Loosen the screws on the front cover and remove the front cover. There are some connection terminals including Use an electric drill to open the area for cabling. Please be careful with components inside of the inverter during drilling. Make sure the PV switch is off. Strip 0.59 inch 15 mm of the PV and a battery power cable installation. And then cream tube terminal. Tighten the waterproof connector into the PV input port. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels on the terminal blocks. PV positive 1, 2, 3, 4, PV negative 1, 2, 3, 4, PE. Insert the screwdriver and press the release mechanism and open the clamp. Insert the wire into the round opening and remove the screwdriver. The wire is automatically clamped. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels on the terminal blocks. BAT positive, BAT negative. Limit, maximum PV voltage, 600 volts. Maximum PV input current, 13 ampere. Maximum recommended PV power STC, 1.5 times AC rated power. Note. We suggest you use the PV and a battery input cable no less than 10 AWG to connect. There is an AC grid port and backup output port from Min TL XHUS. From the front view, on the bottom right of the inverter is the AC grid connection port for AC cables. The left of the AC grid port is the backup outlet port which is for critical load connection. We can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose suitable cable. Connect the wires to the appropriate terminal blocks according to the labels on the terminal blocks. PE L1, M, L2 of AC grid. PE load L1, load L2 of backup output. Caution. Do not connect the backup output terminal and AC grid connection terminal together. The 
grounding connector is at the right side of the Mint TL XHUS from the front view. The antenna connector is at the bottom of the Mint TL XHUS. Install the CT on the power cable between the load and the grid. Pay attention to the direction of the CT from the diagram. Open the current transformer first and you can see an arrow labeled on it, which indicates the current direction and the direction of the arrow means the direction from the public grid to user load. First, connect L1 port to L1 line of grid. Connect L2 port to L2 line of grid. Connect N port to N line of grid. Connect ground port to ground. Second, connect L1 positive port O to S1 of CT1. Connect L1 negative port to S2 of CT1. Connect L2 positive port to S1 of CT2. Connect L2 negative port to S2 of CT2. Third, connect A positive port to pin 1 of connector. Connect B negative port to pin 3 of connector. Connect G port to pin 2 of connector. Finally, please insert this connector to the RS485 port on the communication board. Insert the CAT56 cable through the conduit to the inverter wiring box. Please refer to the table to make the RJ45 connector. Connect the signal cable from the battery to the RJ45 port on the communication board. If the customer requires the backup power function, GrowUp provides the optional ATSUS for our system. We can follow the diagram to connect the ATSUS. Wires are needed before installation. First, for backup load connection. Connect the output TXL1 port to L1 line of backup load. Connect output TXM port to N line of backup load. Connect the output TXL2 port to L2 line of backup load. Connect the grounding cable. Second, for backup output of min TLXH US connection, connect the input EPS L1 port to the load L1 port of min TLXH US. Connect the input EPS L2 port to the load L2 port of min TLXH US. Connect the grounding cable. Third, for grid connection, connect the input grid L1 port to L1 line of the grid. Connect the input grid L2 port to L2 line of the grid. Connect the grounding cable. ARO high voltage battery cabinet package and whole package including ML33RTA battery module package and whole package including Fix the cabinet on the wall through the mounting bracket on the back in order to ensure the machine can run normally and easy to operate. Please provide adequate space for ARO high voltage battery cabinet. Remove the bottom cover. Turn on the bottom hasp. Loosen the screws on the front cover. Remove the front cover carefully when the cover is fully open. You will find that the ground wire and the LED communication line are both connected to the cover. Please remove them. Put the battery module into the cabinet and fix it. The battery module terminals are on the right side. The connection of 6.6 kWh system to ML33RTA battery modules in parallel. Please follow this picture to connect battery 1. Insert the upper bat PCS cable to PCS terminal. Use a jumper shorting plug to short the link in terminal. Insert the upper bat link out cable to link out terminal. 
Connect the upper BAT positive cable to battery positive terminal. Connect the upper BAT negative cable to battery negative terminal. Please follow this picture to connect battery to. Insert the lower inner butt linking cable to linking terminal. Insert the lower butt link out cable to link out terminal. Connect the lower inner BAT positive cable to battery positive terminal. Connect the lower inner BAT negative cable to battery negative terminal. The connection of 9.9 kilowatt hour system. 3 ML33R80 battery modules in parallel. Please follow this picture to connect the battery 1. Insert the upper bat PCS cable to PCS terminal. Use a jumper shorting plug to short the linking terminal. Insert the upper bat link out cable to link out terminal. Connect the upper BAT positive cable to battery positive terminal. Connect the upper BAT negative cable to battery negative terminal. Please follow this picture to connect battery 2 and battery 3. Insert the lower inner butt link-in cable to battery 2 linking terminal. Insert the lower inner butt link-out cable to battery 2 link-out terminal. Insert the lower outer butt linking cable to battery 3 linking terminal. Insert the lower butt link-out cable to battery 3 link-out terminal. Connect the lower inner BAT positive cable to battery 2 positive terminal. Connect the lower inner BAT negative cable to battery 2 negative terminal. Connect the lower outer BAT positive cable to battery 3 positive terminal. Connect the lower outer BAT negative cable to battery 3 negative terminal. On the left side of the battery cabinet, there is a BAT switch to switch on and off the battery system. Forced start button to force to start shut down battery system and a battery plus minus power terminal from battery to inverter. IMV is the communication terminal from battery to inverter. On the left side of the battery cabinet, CAN is the communication terminal connect to the next extended battery system. BIT expansion plus minus is the power terminal connect to the next extended battery system. Make sure the BAT minus switch is off. For connection, first connect communication cable from inverter to COM IMV port. Second connect the positive and negative power cable from the inverter to BAT plus minus port. If there is no battery expansion, no need to connect cables. The COM CAM port needs to be inserted with a jumper shorting plug. For battery expansion connection, connect communication cable from next battery cabinet to comp cam port. Connect the positive and negative power cable from next battery cabinet to the BAT expansion plus minus port. Connect the grounding cable finally. After all the installation are finished, here are the steps to power on the whole system.